Perico. This this series, this little short, I don't know how it's a how you could describe it, but it's such a exhilarating watch for exploring the last temple of the Te- Tepui. What was it about this and being a part of this experience? Was it like for you? Well, it was a, a great experience because I, I used to watch the, the show National Geographic Explorer as a kid. So I think it motivated to me and myself an explorer and a climber. And being part of the show, uh, the reopening of this show, National Geographic Explorer, is, a, is, a, is like a dream come true. It's unique. Yeah. And, and a lot of the experiences, especially for you during this, were, uh, were exciting, heartwarming, but also very terrifying as well because <laughs> I'm watching it. What, um, when you're at the face and at the base of uh, the mountain, what, what goes through your mind? Because like I saw your, when I was watching the whole ascent and it just, uh, you start building up those nerves. <laughs> because you're yeah, yeah. To the top. So what was that like for you? Well, when you're standing at the, at the base of the wall, uh, it's a moment of, of anxiety because you're stepping onto, uh, you're stepping into the unknown. So you have to figure your strategy to navigate the wall and go to the easiest place possible. And as you can see, it's not easy at all. No. There is a roof, for example, at the middle of the wall where you have to you cut loose and your, your feet are hanging from the, from the lip of the roof. So it's a, it's a, it was a challenging climb. So it was a, a bit scary for yeah. sure. Yeah. And what was it like working with the National Geographic Explorer Bruce Means uh, during this whole journey? Well, I'm a biologist myself. I have a master in science degree in biology. And I knew some of the work of Bruce because I just like to, to know about the biology of the Tepuis. So he has an extensive uh, uh, life as a researcher, as a biologist in the Tepuis. He did almost 33 expeditions before. Uh, so it was quite an honor for me to for be, uh, being part of an expedition with Bruce, with, with Dr. Bruce. So, and, and being being part, uh, a key part of the expedition for him, like an eye for him at the Tepui where he, where he couldn't access mm-hmm. uh, was quite a responsibility. Yeah. And how hard was that decision? Like, cause after watching it, you could tell he was not happy, but he understood. But for yeah, all of yeah. you, it seemed like, it, seemed like um, it was really hard for all of you for him to not have that experience one last time. Yeah, we needed him on the wall because it was a, a, a first timer. Uh, yeah. Having a biologist on the wall, uh, taking samples from the wall uh, was never done before and mm-hmm. he had never done it before. So uh, it, it was a, an, an important moment leaving him behind. But it was the best decision, I, I guess, because uh, the risks involved on going through all this uh, thick forest uh, was too much yeah yeah and that was the as much as you i love the way how you see the sadness in it but yet you see the transformation into what he was doing at at the camp during this whole time when you were exploring um ultimately i wanted to ask you too like disney this is going to be coming out on earth day and disney had does a great job on earth day releasing uh shows and films that really depict what Earth Day is and the, the responsibility and the importance of taking care of our home. What are your feelings towards that, that this National Geographic Explorer is going to be on Earth Day? Well, this is a, a very important moment for conservation of the Amazonia. We're having a huge loss and degradation of the environment, and we're facing the challenge of preserving at least 80% of the Amazonia. Mm-hmm. Currently, we have lost 17% of the, of, the, of the environment, of the jungle. And uh, experts say uh, that if we lose more than that, more than 20% to 25% of the Amazonia, the whole ecosystem will collapse. Mm-hmm. So this uh, 
22 of April is the Earth Day. It's going to be a really important moment for uh, making momentum for the conservation movement of the Amazon. Yeah. And on your point of view, do you think we still have time to save the Amazon and re reverse climate change? Because sometimes it feels with all the gloom and doom that you hear that sometimes it feels like maybe we went too far. But what are your views on it and changing this yeah, well, situation we're in? It's, it's quite challenging because, yeah, I mean, local policies can have an impact. But I think, well, I believe that multinational efforts should be to, to join and uh, mm -hmm. to preserve the Amazonia because the Amazonia is, uh, I mean, it's in several countries, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Guyana, Ecuador, Peru. And if all these countries uh, don't do a multinational effort to preserve the Amazonia, we're gonna lose more than the 20% that is projected to be irreversible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and especially after last week when we saw a piece of ice, a large piece of ice from Antarctica break off, it, you, you notice that things are, and especially with weather changes, and you could see it in your own self, you can't get away from it. And yeah, uh, try, to, try to imagine the impact of, the, of losing the Amazonia on the, on the whole climate of the world. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's what people need to start realizing because I, this is our home and we got to protect it. And I think, you, and I love talking to people like you who see it firsthand, who can tell people what's really going on. Um, yes, I've, I've been exploring this tapuis for 30 years and I've seen uh, a lot of degradation of the rivers, the loss of the jungle, of the, of the area of the jungle. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's quite difficult. Yeah. And, um, and this one really does show, and I think it really does help. And I hope a lot of people see it because I think what you explore and with your, with everything in this show, National Geographic Explorer, the last tapuis, you really see something that you, that is not only beautiful, but we need to conserve and save. Uh, thank you so much, Federico, for stopping with us. I really appreciate it. Uh, anything you want to add? Thank you, Michael. Especially since Earth Day is coming up, in order to really make sure people do their part, conserve, because like I said, you see it firsthand where we don't. Yeah. I mean, these policies are made by humans. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We have to raise a sensibility, a sensibility towards nature, and that can only be done by education. So we have to educate people to to have this sensibility towards nature. Right, Federico, this thank responsibility. You. Yeah, Federico, thank you, thank you so much for stopping with us. Really appreciate it. And don't forget, the last Tepui is out on National on Disney Plus, part of the National Geographic Explorer series on April twenty second. Thank you again. Oh, thank you, Michael.